This is Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Though it's 800 million miles from our planet, it's actually one of the most Earth-like places in our solar system, with a topography full of oceans and lakes. And NASA has a crazy plan to send a space submarine to explore it. Titan is larger in size than Mercury and is the only world beyond Earth and Venus with a dense atmosphere, which is why it's often dubbed Planet Wannabe. Within its atmosphere are curious assortments of clouds, including some made of noxious compounds like hydrogen cyanide and benzene, and monstrous ice clouds that form in its south pole. These help scientists investigate Titan's weather patterns, which could impact the landing of a futuristic space sub. Unlike Earth, Titan's incredibly thick atmosphere is actually full of nitrogen and methane instead of oxygen, which creates its glow. The orange haze kept Titan shrouded in mystery for years until NASA sent Cassini to peer through it in 2004. Cassini made more than 100 flybys of Titan and eventually sent a probe dubbed Huygens onto its surface. While en route, two imaging instruments collected data and infrared photos of Titan's surface, which is what you're looking at right now. Huygens' view gave NASA scientists their first look at the mysterious moon. And what got NASA really excited is that Cassini and Huygens' images revealed that Titan had lakes and seas filled with hydrocarbons like methane and ethane instead of H2O. These were the first lakes to be discovered beyond Earth. Even more curious, if life exists on Titan, it could have a completely different biochemistry than life on our planet, which means methane-based life forms, or life as we don't know it. And Titan's cryogenic seas could hold clues of life, so that's why scientists are eager to build a space sub for further exploration. The latest blueprints include a sonar array, meteorology sensor, a retractable sail, and a hydrodynamic skin for the six meter long sub. Plus cameras, of course, to take the best pictures possible of what life is like underneath this icy moon. The plan is for the sub to explore an area called the Kraken Mare, which is Titan's largest northern sea. As it swims through the Kraken, it'll determine the lake's chemistry, its depths, and map the seafloor. But designing and constructing a submarine that can survive at minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit is a significant challenge and one that, quite frankly, might be completely impossible. And because Titan seas have concentrations of ethane and methane, the liquid density of the oceans and lakes could change, and it could make it difficult for the sub to propel through them. If NASA is able to overcome all these challenges and construct a fully autonomous submarine, it'll still take seven years before it reaches Titan. But we're still holding on to hope that we'll see this crazy mission launch, even if we have to wait several decades for it to happen. Make sure to follow Spacecrafts to learn all about astronomical events and phenomena. And don't forget to share with your friends. Check out other episodes like this one about water on Mars. Let us know in the comments what space stories you want to learn more about. Thanks for watching.